Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today we are doing our coin analysis on Blockport, a project I've been super excited about since before the ICO. But before we begin, I want to thank all my subscribers. We just passed 7,000, which is awesome and I had no idea we had this much potential. Thank you so much. Don't forget to smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button below. Well, let's get started. So, of course, for our coin analysis, we're going to go over what is Blockport, the coin purpose, the team and advisors, the market cap, competition, and partners, if they have a prototype, and then I will show you that prototype, the roadmap, and then a star rating from 1 to 10, what I will list the pros and cons of Blockport. So what is Blockport? Blockport is building a user-friendly crypto exchange that combines social trading with a hybrid decentralized architecture to help people safely trade crypto assets. They bridge the gap between the crypto economy and the traditional world of finance to shift towards a digital and decentralized society. You can follow experienced traders and copy their moves, which is similar to Covesting. Their platform is connected with multiple crypto exchanges, allowing us to benefit from different markets in a single dashboard. When you initiate a trade, their trading engine will find the best price and distribute the order across multiple exchanges. Also, you own your private keys. Your funds, your funds don't leave your wallet until the atomic swap is successful, preventing fraud and hacking. Now what about their coin purpose? The BPT token is used to pay for discounted trading fees and to utilize the social trading features in the exchange environment. Members can also earn these tokens by engaging on the platform. And now to their team and advisors. Their team has two stars, three superstars, and one master star, while their advisors has one star, three superstars, and then no master stars. So their top three people on their team, we start with Wesley. He's the contract auditor for Blockport, and he gets his superstar for being an agile coach at Accenture, consultant at Avandi for five years, solution developer at Heineken, scrum master for Roch Diagnostics, and a lead at Shell. So he definitely has some big companies that he has worked for. And then next we have Iwin Fold. He is a senior software engineer. He gets his superstar for being a senior programmer at Accenture and a consultant at Capgemini, which is a global leader in consulting, technology services, and digital transformation. Also, he has had development roles for the past 13 years. Not a master star yet, but still significant experience. And then finally, we have Jabran. He's the senior engineer at Blockport. He gets his superstar for being a senior Java developer at Tele2 Netherlands, which is a telecom company with more than 1 million customers and 10,000 companies and he's worked at Accenture as a senior engineer for two years and he gets his master star for being in the software development space since 1998. Now for their advisors, they have three superstars like I said and their main one is Lars Rensing. He is the CFO at Arc, which is a decentralized company developing a next level blockchain. This has already got them a partnership with this and in my opinion, Arc is huge and this is awesome to see that they're already or that he's advising this company. Now for their competition and partners, the main one I would put is Covesting. They're doing the same thing in terms of copying and following different traders. You're able to buy and sell cryptos and it's gonna look at the best exchange on where to buy it. Uh, I'm not sure if they're doing the decentralized exchange thing, I'd have to double check and go look, but everything else doesn't seem to be doing the same thing that these two are doing. Coinbase, you pretty much, you're buying and selling the top cryptos there. We already all use that and we all know. I don't really put this in the same category in terms of competition. We also have Ethos. They're doing the private key thing, Bedrock. I still wouldn't put that in the category of Blockport, although some may. I guess it's, it's all our opinion, right? And then finally, decentralized exchanges and exchanges in general. I do feel like they're kind of competition, but not direct competitors because yeah, they're doing that in terms of their decentralized exchange, but Blockport has so many other aspects that are super important to their platform and that makes them unique. Now for their partners, they don't have the best partners. The most notable one, of course, is Arc, and Arc aims to create an entire ecosystem of linked chains and a virtual spider web of endless use cases, allowing Arc to be highly flexible, adaptable, and scalable. And I do believe Arc is super under the radar and super undervalued. Check them out. I do believe this one could go much higher in market cap once the market starts doing its thing and they start releasing their product. 
Now, of course, one of the most important parts, the market cap. We're looking at right now, $42 million market cap. It was 15 million at ICO. They're currently at around 81 cents. It's kind of fluctuating right now at 7,000 sats. We're looking at 52 million circulating supply with a volume of all time high right now of 4.8 million. Their total supply is 69 million, which is tiny. And of course, the exchanges they're on right now are KuCoin, which holds the majority of the volume, and then IDEX. It's, you're able to trade there, but the volume is much less. So now for the part that I was super excited to show you about, and I'm actually going to do it a little different than I normally do. I usually just show you screenshots and talk about it, maybe show you a video or link you a video. This one, I'm actually going to go through the prototype just to let you know and let you, let you see how beautiful and easy this is to go through. So their main screen is super beautiful kind of similar to Coinbase, which I like. It means it's easy for newer people to understand. So you can come in here, easily can add a trader, do what you need to do. You can check what percentage they're at. Then you have your portfolio, Bitcoin, Neo, Ripple, whatever you decided to add, you're able to go and buy just like Coinbase. Great idea. I love that. Then you can sell. Same thing. You have your portfolio where you can do the buy and sell thing and show what you have, the percentage, again, beautiful and easy to read. Then the activity, this way you can track all the activity in one place where you can download it on a PDF. So super simple when it comes to tax season, you have the community tab. This is where you can follow and copy the most experienced traders on the platform. Perfect for all the new traders that are still learning. Again, super similar to Covesting. And then the exchange, probably the biggest part. I mean, you can trade on multiple exchanges. It's going to find the best price for you. And again, this is similar to Covesting. And I love this. I think this is a great idea. And I can't wait till it's implemented and I can actually use it. So that's pretty much there. What you look at, you have the help right here. In my opinion, super simple, super easy, super beautiful. I love this and this is actually the first time I've seen the alpha version of the platform and I love it a lot. And now for the roadmap or goals. So we're going to start in March 2018. We have Blockport 1.0 beta release. Members can buy, sell and store Bitcoin and Ethereum and then they're going to also launch the knowledge sharing platform. And then Q2 we have the full Blockport 1.0 release and then 2.0 beta version. Users can test and follow the copy features and have the ability to trade on multiple exchanges. And then Q3 will have the full release of 2.0, which will be supporting 50 plus cryptocurrencies and tokens. Also, a full range of social trading and knowledge sharing will be launched. And then Q4 2018, 3.0 beta release supporting most popular ERC20 tokens. And then members will have full ownership by storing their funds on the chain. And then 2019 Q1, we have 3.0 will be fully released, supporting most popular cryptocurrencies and tokens. So as you can see, this is awesome. They have a super extensive and exciting 2018 ahead of us. We will get all the way, hopefully, to 3.0 beta, which means <laughs> there's going to be a lot going on. Blockport will be receiving a 9 out of 10 from me. I honestly love this project and what they have to offer. And in my opinion, based off of the market cap, it deserves a 9 stars. The pros, they have a beautiful design. And you, you have just seen it. It's easy on the eyes. It was also super user-friendly, easy to navigate. I didn't find myself questioning where to go next. And it's, it's just very easy from the beginning. So the non-tech people and the new individuals from crypto won't have any issues. One of their biggest selling points, their market cap of only $40 million is also huge. Of course, it has gone on a big run, so maybe this isn't the best time to buy. But I think this could go on a run similar to KuCoin or Ethos, which hit the $1 billion market cap. Ethos doesn't even have a product yet, and they hit $1 billion. If this does, that's about $0.20 cents per coin. 2018 looks like a super busy year for this company, with possibly the beta of 3.0 being released. Then they have 75% of their tokens already in circulation, so I don't really expect the team to dump on us. I mean, they can't really dump too much. Also, they got a 90.63% on my ICO sheet, which is a great score and a huge reason why I've been so excited for this project. And then finally, the last point, they have a partnership with ARK, which in my opinion is one of those blockchain platforms that are way undervalued at the moment. Now for their cons, I actually had a hard time finding legit cons. So their team isn't the best. It's not no WAN chain or NEO. 
So hopefully now that the ICO is done, they can hire some big names that could really push them over the top. Also, they definitely need some more and better partners. Outside of ARK, their partner list is pretty unknown. And then finally, they don't have any profit sharing like KuCoin and a few other exchanges do. This gives people a reason to keep the, the token and it's always nice to have. Anyways, that's my video on Blockport. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button over there. <laughs> Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.